Hello, I'm George Romero, and you're watching the Abernathy Project. One of our favorite magazines here at Abernathy. This is Fangoria. This is issue number 291, focusing on the crazies. And as you'll notice down here, Survival of the Dead. That's why I chose this issue to uh, display for you guys during Romero Week. So, um, this is just a great resource. And if you don't already read it, you gotta start checking it out. If you do read it, you gotta get yourself a subscription or something. Early on, we're gonna be getting the Survival of the Dead review, um, some cool stuff they had to say about Romero, and um, you know, just the up to the date. As far as magazines go, if you're not just looking online, this is gonna be the best up to date resource for all your horror news. Um, as far as film, TV, even books sometimes, and um, awesome, awesome DVD recommendations, old and new. Here we go, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, you're going to have to watch our review to um, see exactly what we here at Abernathy thought about it. And I'll give you one hint. Not good. Here we go. You got your DVD chopping list. So this is all the new stuff that's worth seeing. And even some of the stuff that's not, it's going to get mentioned here. Chopping list. And um, you're going to have a little brief synopsis. And then you see these nice little boxes you can check off once you get them. Because you're going to spend all your money once you have this thing. And they have old stuff and new stuff. And mostly organized here by, um, you can see, by date. There's marches, releases. Um, and then here we got a full page ad for I Sell the Dead, which is a really, really great movie starring Dominic Monaghan from Lord of the Rings and Lost and Flash Forward, and Ron Perlman, Larry Fessenden, the great director and character actor from New York City, and Angus Grimm is also in it, the tall man from Phantasm. Um, we got you got a full big article here on the crazies, and I'm going to mention again, again, again. The remake seems kind of cool, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet myself, and it's got an okay cast, but you really, 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 really got to check out the original. Here's Frozen, as you can see I turned down the corner here, I want to mention this, this is a really cool horror film starring Sean Ashmore, you know, Canadian production, people stuck on the ski lift overnight. Very, very, very cool and creepy story. Um, and now we're dealing with Noah Segan, all the horror stuff he's chosen to be in this year. Um, I did see Dead Girl and I really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you like zombie necrophilia. Um, not to ruin it for you too much, but if you see the package, you probably get the idea. A little self plug for older issues, um, which you know you can find a lot of stuff on their website here. And then we're gonna hit the Night of the Demons remake with uh, Shannon Elizabeth and little Mr. Eddie Furlong so I'm not sure if it's gonna do the original justice I have not seen it yet myself even though I think it has been released on DVD at this point and um, yeah apprehensive but maybe it'll be great who knows uh, here's some more set photos motional images my thumb and here we go another Romero ad for his um, little cameo in girls and corpses magazine and you can see the man handsome as ever a zombie or a human either way it just keeps getting better. Book reviews, book reviews, um, novelization of a Wolfman, all these other stuff that's going on. Patient Zero, that's getting a lot of play right now. And they even got some comics in here. Marvel Zombies Return. Some old stuff here that's worth tracking down. Slithis, the Monster of Venice. So they got everything in here. Old stuff, new stuff, um, stuff that's just out on DVD, stuff that's really worth tracking down, spotlights on great films. Okay, here is some Dr. Cyclops Dungeons of Discs. This is where they'll review DVDs from, from you know, it doesn't have to be exactly brand new. 
I could be a little a little older, but recent-ish. You got House of the Devil, Kingdom of Spiders with William Sh uh, Shatner, Bad Biology, uh, that's pretty recent, and um, Pontypool, which I really enjoyed. Uh, as well, uh, yes, yes, I'll say House of the Devil again because I loved it. I thought it was the best horror film I've seen this year because I saw it this year, but I believe it came out last year. I love it, love it, love it. Um, you got all sorts of other stuff in here of current and past releases. Big Evil Dead uh, screening at the um, uh, excuse me, Evil Dead is going to be screaming at the Alamo Draft House in Austin, Texas. Um, so if you're in the area. Check it out, of course, gotta love the classics. Here's a big article on The Wolfman. You can check out Cherry's review of the film and the action figure. Um, big promotional images in here. I loved Hopkins in this film. I really enjoyed this film a lot, personally. Um, you know, I thought we haven't had enough like it taken so kind of classy lately and with a good budget. But, you know, um, budget isn't always what's needed here is Rick Baker's new recipe for his hard design and man's hard at work even as he gets older he still loves doing the special effects and makeup for you know, everything hard very very cool here's some more shots of him in action and here is Benicio under heavy heavy makeup um Fangoria Radio you can check that out um on Sirius XM Radio Here's an article on Blood Creek, the latest Joel Schumacher film, kind of returned to form for the guy who did Lost Boys, Flatliners, and mm -hmm, well, St. Elmo's Fire, which cannot be argued as a great film for its genre, but, um, you know, he did some Batman films we try not to speak about, but um, this is a really cool horror thing he did, out of the blue kind of, not expecting it, like Nazi occult stuff, very, very fun. Here we go. Mucha Sangre is never enough. One of the late Polnashi's craziest films will hopefully have a chance to finally spread the U.S. Fan fans. I really like Polnashi stuff and it's cool to see some stuff finally get released over here. Okay, here's some more pictures from that one. Saturday Nightmares, this is the event that we covered which was great fun. There's Romero again, let me get a close up. And his buddy Ken Foray, Adrian Barbeau, Tom Savini, all down the line. Great experience. Arcade. now this deals with horror themed video games for the most part but then you got some other stuff like nostalgia and Viva legend the jack black metal game in there and look who it is your boys business college with john russo and russ strainer from magable living dead fame the nightmare library you see they have a bunch of different people in this book so you get a lot of really different viewpoints on what are new good great horror books and older books that have been out and in the back we got ads you know what can you do? That's the nature of the beast, but at least it's cool horror stuff. And um, just some of the smaller articles being finished. We got um, Tartan Asian releasing. The Vengeance trilogy is finally all going to be released together. Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy, and Lady Vengeance, and also the other stuff they got coming out on Blu-ray and regular DVD. So this is a great, great magazine. Um, if you are a horror aficionado or just even a sometime fan, there's a lot you can learn in here. And you really gotta check this magazine out.